In this video, we're going to be breaking down the gun box scheme. This is another one of those schemes that we ran against those top 100 players. If you're with a select group of people that play Madden, you know about gun box. But if not, you probably have no idea what this is because it's only in one playbook, which is Denver. Um, let's jump into the formation, though. We're going to break down my go to plays. Um, let's jump into the audibles. These are going to be my four go to's right here. Slot trail inside zone. And this is probably the most famous out of all of them. The deep fork. The corner route out of Deep Fork is the best play or the best route against man coverage, hands down, in Madden 24. Um, then y'all y'all are going to see a trend. I like to keep a HB screen. Um, it, it will be between HB screen or uh, screen or the, the deep curls. This is going to be a money play that we actually dropped in the beginning of the year. Um, so we'll talk about that play last. But this is basically just a filler. We're going to pr primarily focus on deep fork. And then these are also fillers as well. Um, so let's jump into the practice field and show you how we set these plays up. All right. So we're going to start off by talking about the play deep fork. This is probably the most famous play out of this formation. If you watch anybody on TikTok, you've probably seen them using this play. Um, this right here is just one of those plays that you can run stock, especially against man coverage. This corner route. If you have a good route runner, you don't even need a good route runner. But if you have one, you're going to create so much separation. Doesn't matter if it's cover two man or cover one. Um, this corner route, this corner route is going to break and create space. And a lot of times, if it is cover one, you can get a one play touchdown. If they send a zero blitz, you can get a one play touchdown. They have a chance of stopping you if they run cover two man because they have a safety going that way. But let me just show you what this looks like with Zay Flowers. Again, you know, he's probably a B tier wide receiver. Uh, but this corner route just creates so much separation. Like you can have a lockdown uh, cornerback guarding uh, somebody like Zay Flowers and you will still create separation with this specific route. So I just wanted to start that off by talking about this play against man coverage. And not only that, um, you can also hit the post route if you have a mismatch there with the speed. And the most slip on is actually the motion um, wide receiver that's on that little out route against man coverage can easily just uh, beat man coverage for a nice little five to 10 yard gain because he does dip down on his route. Um, it's kind of weird. So you don't always get more yardage than what you do when you catch it because usually you'll get tackled. But it's a nice check down if you need like three, five yards. Um, possible more yards if you can put some stick work together. Again, another route against man coverage uh, is the running back, kind of like the last resort right here. But this also will beat man coverage in the middle of the field, um, especially if the user is trying to uh, stop the running back. They usually see him go out like that and go up. They'll think it's a streak, and then he cuts in again, and he just gets wide open. Um, so you, you definitely have three go-tos, and then you also have the posts. And then you could do with the C route, normally what I like to do if I know it's man coverage, I hit them once going to the corner route. They're trying to favor that. So maybe they got a safety over there. We're going to go ahead and set up a curl route. Y'all already know how I feel about curl routes. It's just a timing throw. Once he like two steps away, I actually threw it a little too late. But once he's like two steps away before he cuts, that's when you're going to throw it. And you can easily beat man coverage. This is why this is just one of the best plays overall. And it can beat zones in the default uh, setup as well. But we're going to show you how I like to set it up. Um, so let's jump into a zone coverage. All right, now we're going to be running this play against zone coverage. We are going to be going to get to cover three, but anything I do against cover three, you can do against cover four and cover two. But real quick, I want to show you running this play default. You can actually bomb cover three and cover four with the deep post. Let me show you what this looks like. The way that we're going to be able to bomb it with cover three, you're going to be able to do the same thing with cover four uh, as a default setup. No, no changes whatsoever. Once he breaks on that cut, you're going to go ahead and lead this all the way to the left side. Now, it will require either a burner or a good route runner to get that, you know, break on that cut and just get that little speed boost. But that is something that you can do. We're also going to show you another way to set this up as a money play. Let's just go ahead and do that now. Uh, what you're going to do is actually put B on a comeback route. You're going to motion the corner route. You're going to put RB on a streak. And you can kind of do whatever you want with X and Y. I like Y. In this situation because it's a really good check down but what you can also do is what we normally do with our money plays is have two inside routes crossing the middle so we can keep that user true to the middle of the field um again we're gonna bomb with this uh corner route right here and with that we obviously we turn it into a post route and this corner route is just so good the way they break on it it's such a quick break um but let me show you what this looks like this is against cover three but it will work against cover four and cover two Again, we're just going to get over the top of the corner and just underneath the safety and a possible one play touchdown if you got some stick work and personnel on the field. But there's two ways you can bomb coverages with this play alone. We just showed you the default way and then a money play way. 
but let's go ahead and show you all the bread and butter it's going to look similar to the tight end uh the trips tight end flex what you're going to do is put b on a streak rb on a flat and then y'all already know what we're going to do with the running back put them on a streak motion them over and x we're going to put them on a drag route uh obviously corner flat those are going to be our go-to reads middle of the field if the user favors the corner look for your running back if you have a quick check check down with rb hit rb off rip um but let's just go ahead and show you the money is obviously to the corner route right here again this corner breaks so fast it's one of the best corner i mean it's not even one of the best it's actually the best corner route in madden hands down i've labbed a lot of corner routes none break like this um so that's why it just it, it separate this place separates itself from others when it comes to having this little scheme another thing i like to do let me just go ahead and show you so we're gonna put um b on a streak you're running back on a streak and now we're actually going to put rb on a streak so what this is going to do you're going to be able to get a free form pass to the inside to the running back um also always keep that drag route and even with this setup you can let, let me just show you you can still hit the corner route um just all depends on the zone drops but that's just a, again a terrible pass by me but you see how the corner route still opened up um it's all going to depend on the user and what they do with their flats but if they're you know they're running a 10 yard curl flat or a five yard curl flat even a 15 you can still get that corner route off but let me show you what really um how putting a rb on a streak plays an effect for the running back right here the the flat the vert hook right there the safety everybody on the right side is going to have to account for the two streaks from RB and B and the corner route. So what happens a lot is the running back is going to get open in the middle of the field right here. Again, I am throwing terrible. We're going to run that back, but you see how the running back is open right there. So let's go ahead and hit that again. Let's go ahead and put RB on a streak, B on a streak. Um, and a lot of times this is where I get people, especially when I, I, I need to sneak in like a third and long. I'll run this setup right here. Um, and you don't have to free okay that was just a bad pass by lamar i didn't even freeform that but you see what i'm talking about right there how it opens up for the running back and you can lead the ball towards the inside or basically away from the safety and the vert hook and then you always have the check down with x with that drag route um but the bread and butter again is just going to be be on a streak um you're running back on a streak motion and then you can put rb on a zig if you're worried if they're in man coverage this still works but i like the rb on a flat because he's a nice check down like let's say they're they are playing their flats pretty deep um you can hit rb real quick like this and get a few yards if you got some stick work possible uh you know 20 yards here or there um so that's why i prefer the flat instead of the zig but that's going to be the bread and butter right there um let's jump into a, a different play and show y'all why i like to run that play against this defense all right so the next play i want to talk about is going to be the slot trail this is another play i like to run it can beat zone but it's primarily for man coverage uh mainly because the route with uh zay flowers and then bateman coming across the middle if you got a good run, uh, route runner running the corner route can also break on man coverage as well this corner route is not as good as the corner route out of deep fork um but this is another setup that i like for man coverage so let's say you know, you hit them with the corner route a, a couple times. They're favoring man coverage, so they're going to put somebody over there to try to stop that corner route. Uh, this is where this play comes in. All I really do is put the running back on the in route, and that's basically it. I'll leave X on a streak, and sometimes I'll put them on a, a, a curl route, but for the most part, this is the setup right here. Um, again, this is for man coverage, but you can beat zone. That uh, motion drag does a really good job of beating uh, man coverage because he gets like a little speed boost. Uh, but let's say that they do pick up um, the B on the drag route. The the next go-to is going to be either the running back, but the, the best one that opens up is going to be the, the route that Zay Flowers is on right here. So he's going to break out and then come in like that. And if they don't have a user in the middle of the field, a lot of time, it's just, he actually played that pretty good. But a lot of times you can turn that into a big game because – the user has to go help on that drag route or he'll go help on the uh, the five and in by the running back. But because it's the computer, he's staying in the middle of the field. So you're not going to get the effect of the user out there. But that's just another little uh, filler play that I like to run against man or zone. Again, this will work good against zone coverage. And then obviously we have the HB screen. And then again, we have our little um, inside zone with the run. 
really good run plays that they're not expecting. A lot of people don't run out of gun box, so it'll really throw them off. So just mix in that screen and then the inside zone. There's one more play I want to talk about. It's a play we already dropped on the channel, but it's just going to be a refresher. So let's go ahead and get into that right now. All right, so the play that we're going to be talking about now is going to be the play Deep Curls. This is the play that brought me to gun box. I want to say I dropped this like the first week Madden came out. Um, this is a really good money play that will bomb all zone coverages and can beat man coverage. But this play is also good for the people that like to run those cover threes where they're actually blitzing five. So they only got one guy playing in the middle of the field. What you're going to go ahead and do is motion over the inside receiver, Zay Flowers. Go ahead and put X on a comeback route and then drag B. This play right here is deadly because you can throw it to A or RB off rip. Let me just show you what that looks like. This is against cover three, but I can hit A right here for a nice quick pass. Again, this is all going to depend on the user. And again, I can also hit um, the post route the same way. Let's go ahead and show you what that looks like real quick. And you can put the running back on an in route. You can block them, whatever you want to do. Uh, but we can also hit RB the same way. You can hit them real quick right here, lead it to the outside. So it's that's why this is one of those top tier money plays because there's really good check downs. But if you want to go for the bomb, obviously it's going to be that little slant post route right here. Uh, you got to it does take a little bit of time to develop. So if you're afraid that the D line is going to get to you, hit A or RB really quick. But let me show you what this looks like. Hopefully we can get it off for y'all. But once he breaks, again, you're just going to lead this all the way to the left. This will bomb cover four as well and get a possible one play touchdown. But that's that's basically the scheme for the gun box. What we're going to do now is jump into some head-to-head -head action and show y'all how this uh, how effective this is against real users. All right, we got game one. Just want to tell y'all, man, y'all been killing it uh, with the views. Like, there's people with tens of thousands of subscribers on youtube and they're not even pulling as many views as we are as a small channel about to hit 3,000. so i just wanted to tell y'all i really do appreciate that um we're gonna keep we're gonna continue to keep putting in work for y'all though this is gonna be game one let's see what we can do 49ers are probably the best team in the game um now i i think he's in cover three i i, I low-key we're gonna call a timeout we're gonna call a timeout i want to i'm gonna start it off with a money play if I can get them programmed to worry about a money play, um, we can possibly get corner routes off all day. This might be man coverage. I don't know. We're about to find out right here with this motion. Um, but we are going to hit him with a deep curl play. It might be zone coverage. And I am a little worried because we got uh, two edge threats that we're going to have to worry about. But yeah, I think about uh, Chase Young actually going to the, the Saints, him and Cam Jordan. We might be able to get there. Oh, Bosa is just a demon. I had it, though. You see that the, the post route was open there. Um, Sometimes I will try to hit him with the money play off rip. You know, sometimes we get it, sometimes we don't. But we're going to go ahead and go to the bread and butter right here. This might be man coverage, but... And that's the thing. The way we set this up to beat zone, we can still beat man coverage because that corner route is just so deadly. Um, But sometimes the streak does get in the way. But we're about to see right here, see what happens. Gonna be looking for that corner. Might have it right here. Yeah. It's it's one of the best corner routes in the game, like hands down. Um not a lot of routes break like that. But we're gonna keep coming out in this uh deep fork. And if he continues to stay like this, you know what? Let's try to hit him with the other money play setup. Let's go ahead and motion over Duvernay. Got a streak. Zay Flowers. I'm more worried about Bosa than Chase Young. Only thing is, we are with a right-handed quarterback. Come on, hold him, hold him. His guy, oh man, his guy's actually, can we do something with Lamar? No. So if you see your receivers getting bumped and they're in zone coverage, it's because they're running default um, zone drops. That means that like whenever you're in default zone drops and they're not guessing pass, that automatically tells me that he's just running a default cover three um, so that can be difficult for post routes to break because they are going to bump them. It looks like he's going to continue just to stay in cover three, which let's go ahead and mix in the screen pass just to throw it in there. And on this screen pass, a lot of times I'll look for X. Um, if X gets open, I'll go for X, but if not, I'll go for my screen pass. Usually I save this for the red zone. Like right there, I think X got open for a little bit, but we'll take the screen. We got a nice little running back here. <clears throat> not, not bad, not bad. Let's just go ahead and go to the bread and butter, the deep fork. 
I can run this play all game. Like you're this guy is clearly just staying in cover three. Um, but you can run this against cover four, cover two, and continue to just get success. Um, we might be able to hit the running back right here. Let's see what happens. Oh, he's favoring it. So we'll just keep going to the corner. Bad pass by me. Uh, my free form has been terrible lately, and it's really because I'm trying to talk to y'all as I'm doing it. I really do be messing up big time when I'm playing and trying to talk. I make a lot of mistakes. That's why we're trying to get better at it. Um, he's just staying in a cover three. Like, it's kind of when, when you're going to get somebody that's not making, he's not making any adjustments, honestly. Like, he's just staying in cover three. Um, it's just a default. I mean, he's got the best team in the game. We're going to hit the running back right here. Um, yeah, I mean, there's really nothing to it. Like, I hate spamming the same thing over and over again, but when he's staying in the same defense, I'm not going to change it up. Um, but with this deep fork, remember, or this this is the deep curl. Actually, since he's we're pretty close, we're just going to run something like this. We're going to put double... Double comeback routes, and we're going to look for a quick pass to A or RB right here. Right there. And see, that's a play that a lot of people actually don't run um, out of gun box. See, now right here, another route combo we didn't talk about. Um, actually, y'all did see me do this in those comp games. This is the double out route, but we used the, the uh, motion snap with the b receiver a lot of times he'll get open but if not we got our check down with the zig route and then the running back and you can just keep uh rb zay flowers on the route that he's on but we're going to look for either one of these to break off which i think b is going to get it um that's one of my go-to's in the red zone uh just put that zig route that's all you gotta that's all you gotta change about the the deep fork and that's one of the best plays about 10 to 5 yards away from the red zone or the end zone my bad all right, this is game two. This man wasted the whole first quarter and some. Um, but let's get into it. Let's see. We got to get our substitution in. I actually want Duvernay here. Zay on the inside. Yeah, we'll run it like that. We're just going to come out in the deep fork and see what he comes out in. Looks like a possible another cover three user, but also could be a man coverage. Um... If it is, and it looks like he has a linebacker on Odell. I don't even know why Odell's right there. We're going to run it as default, see what happens. This is man coverage. Oh, no, it's not. It's zone. That threw me off. We'll just take what he gives us. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. That threw me off. I thought that was man coverage for a second, the way they were playing my guys. Or even a match, but it wasn't even a match. Um... Another another OP team we got to go against. This looks like cover four. So what we're going to try to do here is kind of throw him off. He's, he wants to back his guys up. We're going to go for the money play. He might be sending a heavy blitz. It might be a five-man blitz right here. We might have to hit a check down. Oh, actually, he went into his zone. We might get the money play. Yep. There we go against cover four. A little Odell doing some work. Okay, Odell. Rookie Odell. But yes, you see that that play bombs cover four, cover two, and cover three. All right, we might run a little bit of defense for y'all. These games ain't lasting that long. I get a couple picks here and there, and they end up quitting. Um, at the Lions here, game three, y'all seen that money play go to work for us. Seen the corner route work for us. I'm really trying to get somebody to play man coverage. That's the goal. I really want to get somebody to play man coverage on us. Hey man, I like the Detroit Lions. That is they are they are not a sleeper team no more. They are a legit contender for a top tier team. They got two O linemen with superstar abilities. 98 speed wide receiver. You got a receiver with abilities. You got a fast running back. They are a contender for a top tier team. I would put them in A tier, not so much S tier. Uh defense could use a little bit of work, but this team is definitely up there. Um, I'm pretty sure with the next update, this Running back might get an upgrade. Everything was just bagged right there. He had nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. I love this defense. I like that little uh, post corner, though. He's staying in these uh, strong formations. That's fine with me. They're going to call offsides. I hate when that happens. I don't know what he's thinking. Every time, Not every time, but it happens every so often when I spread my D-line 
They call offsides on my one of my defensive ends. I like I hate that. Like it shouldn't happen. But one of the things you have to deal with, it, it doesn't happen that often. It happens more than it should, but it doesn't happen that often. Um, and it's usually when I spread the D line. But it is what it is. Uh, we'll, we'll try to shut them down right here. I don't, you know what? I didn't even change my zone drops, which is fine for empty right here. I'll leave default zone drops for empty. Watch that inside cut. Come on, six foot four for you. Let's try to get some offense for y'all. Back up a little bit. But now we back on offense, or not back on offense. First offensive drive. Hey, it's not cap. Y'all see me get these picks. Y'all gotta run this formation. Uh, or not the formation, but the, just the play in general. Okay, let's get the one Duvernay here. Actually, no. Like, you can also put Mark Andrews there. That's actually not a bad idea for the Ravens. You know, we're gonna keep him there. Running with Mark Andrews because against man coverage, he can just bank on that corner route. Um, even against zone coverage, it looks like we got cover four going on. Let's let's keep it safe first time. I don't know what he's gonna run. Could be man coverage, could be zone. So we're gonna keep it safe. We got time, sir. We do. Looks like a cover four. Oh, and then see, hey, they got superstars on defense too to give you trouble. They are a top tier team, man. He ran a cover three sky. All right. Give us a little info. Let's see if he comes out in the same thing. Um, Always pay attention to things like that. Like watch what they're running. Pay attention to what defense they come out in. This looks like cover one. I'm not going to lie to you. We might run this default. And this is what I wanted. I wanted to go against somebody against cover one. Um, So hopefully Mark Andrews could break right here. This does look like man coverage though. Yep. And that's with a slow tight end. Oof, good hit. Um, but if you have a, a fast wide receiver right there, that's money all day. So again, we're in a five yard area. We're gonna run our double out. So we're just gonna put Mark Andrews on a zig. That's it. Keep everything the same. If you want to, you can actually put uh Bateman on a zig as well. If you see a mismatch over there, but I'll just keep the C route because we're most likely gonna hit Duvernay or uh Mark Andrews right here, depending on the defense. Okay, he actually that that was not because he played good defense. That was because um somebody got bumped. I'm not gonna lie, that wasn't good defense. That was just really honestly lucky. Another thing we like to do is sneak in a screen pass. If he's staying in man coverage though, we should be able to um hit Duvernay. And that's another reason I like to put a decent route run over there. Duvernay is a burner, not so much a route runner. Um, but if it is man coverage, I'm gonna try to hit him. No, he went to zone, so we're gonna be able to get the screen. This is why I sneak in screen passes, because when they're in zone, it's easy to get a screen pass off. So you, you have that option to go screen pass if they're in zone. Um, and if they're in man or zone, you can run the double out by putting Mark Andrews on that zig route. So that's a nice little combo to run um, when you're five and out or five yards out or 10 yards out away from that touchdown. We got another pick. I mean, I don't know what else to say about this defense, man. If you ain't, if you ain't running it, you ain't seen the video. Go check it out, man. This defense is locked down. And I I know some of y'all probably like, man, you probably just going against bums. The past two guys we run against were top 500 players. It's not that they're bums. It's just your boys kind of like that. Not going to lie. We, we kind of got the juice when it comes to the defense. Um, We might. It looks like he's in man coverage right here. Now, don't get me wrong. Some, some people I do play against, they're like not even ranked. I mean, it happens. We might have man coverage right here. If we do, we're going to the corner route. And we did sub in Zay to get more separation. Nah, we're going to take the check down right here. Go ahead and get our little five and out right there. Don't overthink it. Always check your, take your check downs if you have to. I don't know what it, what happened with this coverage right there. Um, but it, it obviously fell apart. So this is perfect yardage for the corner route. So we're going to set up the bread and butter right here. Um, and we're going to go for that corner. Go ahead and motion the running back. We're going to put B on a 5 and in. You can even put B on a slant route. That works too. Um, he actually has that zone drop pretty deep, but not deep enough. That might have been a cover too. Let's see. I don't know. That one threw me off the way that his safety play. Okay, yeah, it was an inverted cover too, um, which this play also does bomb. Um, I think I showed y'all enough footage. We're probably going to send this guy a friendly quit. Um, you've seen a couple of the money plays. You've seen me beat man coverage. The only thing you didn't see is the inside zone, which is pretty self-explanatory. If you see that gap, take that inside zone. 
you've seen us work some um red zone for y'all when you're five yards away hit that double out use the screen pass nice little scheme to add to your arsenal gun box you can find it out of denver add it to a custom and go to work with it